Hello, 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 hello. So today was the big day. We were all waiting for the CPI number and, you know, most of us were thinking it was going to come in hot and um, we didn't really think it was going to come this hot, but yeah, it was. 9.1 is the number and the markets did not like that. So, you know, what are my thoughts on it? Um, where do I see this economy going? Where do I see inflation going and how can we take advantage of that? And that's what I'm talking about in today's video. So I hope everyone's okay and let's get into it. So inflation came in at 9.1 percent, um, you know, and CPI basically measures the price of goods from year over year. So from June 2001 until June 2022, it went 9.1 percent increased, which is a lot. And as high as that number is, I still don't think it paints the actual accurate picture. Um, you know, the market was anticipating that it was going to be a slighter increase from the 8.6 for May to 8.8, .8, but it came in much, you know, a little bit hotter than that at 9.1. And the markets didn't like that. At closing, the Dow closed above uh, 200 points. Um, and uh, crypto was up and down, but overall, the markets reacted negatively to, the, to these numbers because they know what's going to happen. Um, if inflation didn't show signs of slowing down, they knew that the Fed would probably be more hawkish and would hike rates even higher than they have beforehand. So Fed meeting is scheduled for the end of this month. Um, it's called the FOMC meeting, and that stands for Federal Open Market Committee. And they meet on July 26th to July 27th. And around this time is when Jerome Powell will uh, make the formal announcement of what the uh, rate hike would be. Prior to this number coming out today, um, the market was anticipating, you know, 0.75 increase. Maybe if the number was lower, 0.5, and you know, they'll be a little bit more dovish. But with this number, now there's talks. Economists are saying maybe um, the Fed will increase at a full point. Um, you know, Jerome Powell always said that his main objective and his top uh, top thing to take care of would be inflation. And with these numbers going up. You know, I, you know, I don't see any reason for him to deviate from that plan. And, you know, it's really on the table that they can increase a full point. Um, U.S. futures, like I said, didn't react positively to this. Um, so they closed the Dow closed at 200 down 200. And if you look at the futures for tomorrow, everything's in red. Crypto, however, is still in green. Um, and I don't know if you saw with that last slide, it looks like Celsius formally are declaring bankruptcy. Um, you know, with the three arrows capital, there's just a lot of these lenders um, just going down one by one. And it all started with Terra Luna. But, you know, it's a trickle down effect, contagion effect. And now Cripple is the um, not Cripple. Um, and now Celsius is the last one to fall. I don't know if it's the last one, but it's the most recent. So I can imagine within an hour or two of me posting this video, the crypto market will, will be in the red as well because of the news. So it, why does the rate hike matter to us? You know, you keep hearing about, OK, why he's increasing at 8.6 um, or CPI is 8.6. Now it's 9.1. And is Jerome Powell going to increase 0 0.5, 0 0.75, one, one full point? Why does that matter to us? <clears throat> it matters because the purpose of him raising the rates or the Fed raising rates is to control spending. A lot of money was put into the economy and he's trying to slow a lot of this, slow a lot of this money down. Um, and that's causing the rates to increase. So by him increasing rates and making it a little bit more expensive to, to purchase money or to get money, he's slowing down the economy. And it's helping, hopefully, in his eyes, it will control the inflation. So what does that mean to you and me? It means that short-term interest rates will be going up. Um, it's going to be tougher to get money. Uh, mortgage rates will, inc will increase. So, you know, you know, around 2020, after COVID, you know, interest rates to buy a home was near, you know, nothing. Now they're increasing. So your purchasing power is going to decrease. You know, if you go from 2.5% to 5% for a 30 year mortgage, you're purchasing less house. You can't you can't borrow as much and your money's not going as far. Car loans will increase as far as, you know, the interest rates that you're paying. In 2020, it was much cheaper to try to buy a new car, used car. Now it's, you know, your interest rate is probably 2% higher than that. So that's more to your monthly payment. And credit cards, you know, obviously... You know, a lot of credit cards are about 16 percent to 25 percent. So if you're just, you know, because of interest, I'm sorry, because of inflation, you're putting a lot of things on your card. Now, those monthly payments that you're making, you're barely making a dent in it because that interest rate is, is, is increasing. It's high. 
So you want to control all of that. So that's why these rate hikes matter to us, because, yes, he's doing it to kind of slow the economy, control inflation. But it's also impacting us, the middle class, you know, and it's it maybe you're incurring more debt and it's harder to pay off that debt because of this interest. So the recession, basically, you know, it's it's kind of torn if we're in a recession now or not. Um, but we will get that information at the end of this month. The GDP report is due on July 28th, and many economists are predicting that it is going to be another consecutive quarter of negative growth, which means that we'll be officially in a recession at that time. Um, it's expected that, you know, given the supply issues, inflation, um, rising interest rates, all of these impacted the negative growth in the economy. If you're trying to retract money and retract spending, how could the economy grow? So it's kind of given that the recession is here. And given the way things are going, it may not be a quick one. This one could probably last a year or so. And, um, you know, chain reaction will be businesses cutting earnings, their growth forecasts. And if businesses are cutting their growth and earnings forecasts, that means they're less pr profitable. And the trickle effect is they may have to trim the fat and they may have to let people go. So already we were seeing layoffs in the tech sector. But now we're going to start seeing it. And, you know, Jerome Powell all, always said that he'd be more hawkish in increasing rates because he believed the job market was still strong. Um, let's see what happens if we're in a recession and it's a deep recession and people are losing their jobs. Then he doesn't have that argument anymore. Um, so maybe he'll cease with the increases. But no, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So what's the plan? My plan is to prepare for the worst and plan for the future. And, you know, what I mean by that is if tough times are ahead, you want to set yourself up for success. Um, have an emergency fund. Emergency fund just means should you lose your job or something happens, happens health wise where you can't provide, you know, going to a job every day, you can't provide that financial stability that you have money saved for at least three months. So in case anything happens, you know, you have that cushion that can help you out while you look for another opportunity. Um, pay down debt. You know, these high interest loans and high interest uh, credit card debts, you know, you're just paying. You're just basically scratching the surface. You're not making a dent into it. So if you can right now, if you have the extra money, put an extra 50, an extra 100 towards that credit card bill. Um, stockpile non-perishable goods. You know, supply chain issues or anything could happen in the future. You never know. Um, and if you should lose your job or anything, you know, just have a, a, in a pantry. Just have some rice, have some beans, you know, just stockpile the, the stuff in there. That in case things go south, you still have something, something in your house that you could live off of. It's a good idea. Um, invest in yourself. Investing in yourself, you know, means working out, you know, taking a walk, running, you know, physically that you feel good. And also mentally, it's not all about the physical, you know, high stress of jobs and just financial concerns and everything like that. It's good to just get away and just meditate and make sure that you're fine. You know, make sure that you're 100 percent OK. In order for you to help someone else out, you got to make sure that you're good aside, too. Um, and have a long term investor mindset, you know, continue to DCA into stocks, into crypto um, you know, since all of this has happened, a lot of these cryptos and a lot of these blue chip stocks are down 50 percent from their all time highs. It's, it's, it's great. And if you have a long term mindset where you're not looking to take anything out for another three to five or even more years, this is a great time. Great opportunity. Um, and I skipped over this one. But learn a new skill. You know, if we're talking about people cutting jobs or companies cutting jobs in the future, it's good to learn something new in case something happens. You have that extra hustle. That extra thing to fall back on is something that you learned. Um, it's a good thing to, to, to do, especially in these type of situations right now, this uh, this period that we're in. So lastly, in uh, my conclusion, I'm just saying that we should pay attention to financial markets and the global markets around us. Uh, there's things going on in Sri Lanka. I'm sure you heard China has some bank runs. Um, Germany has something going on with the pipeline where fuel may be in question, where Russia might cut them off. Um, as you probably see, the... Um, the pound and the U.S. dollar, they're about even now. So a lot of things are happening, and not only in the U.S., but all, all over. You want to pay attention to that because they're all connected. Um, focus on yourself, like we mentioned before. Um, you know, that uh, physical and mental stability, you need that. Spend time with your family. You know, sometimes we get so cooped up in working and, and, and just success that we lose focus on the loved ones in our lives. So I, I would do that. Learn a new skill. You know, you want to, you know, grow as a person. Uh, you don't want to do the same thing. You want to do something else. And that could be an outlet for the mental as well. Um, be a leader in your field. You know, you want to set yourself apart from uh, the people in your office. Or if you're not in an office or you're in a different type of field, you just want to set yourself apart. You want to be one of the top ones because 
if companies start letting people go and they start looking around, who should I let go? You know, you don't want to be on that list, basically. And lastly, be greedy when others are fearful. Famous investor said that. I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was. But right now there are deals to be had. And if you make the right moves at these blue chip stocks and cryptos, when this all blows over and we turn into a bull market again, you will be sitting pretty and you'll be happy that you made the choices and investments that you did years prior. So, you know, things I'm looking at, I'm looking at Bitcoin, I'm looking at Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Cardano on the stock side, Tesla, uh, Microsoft, um, NVIDIA, um, you know, Amazon. These are all stocks that I'm looking at. So, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion on how I see the market and where I see things going. So that's my opinion. And I hope um, you guys found some value in this. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, you know, on the day, you know, on every week I come out with stuff, basically my opinion and my survey of the global markets, U.S. markets and what I see um, and where I see things going. So hope you guys enjoyed the show and I hope to see you soon. Everybody stay safe out there. Later.